So what do the followers of Harry think about his failed prediction 17 years ago? It's never a problem for a cult member. We will see the same thing happen on May 22nd of this year. When Harry is proven wrong once again, the sheep will make all kinds of excuses. Some will come to terms with the fact that Harry is a fucking liar on May 22nd. There have been numerous news clips and YouTube videos addressing the issue of what will you say after nothing of the sort happens on May 21st, 2011. The sheep usually avoid the issue. So after the fact, we will see cognitive dissonance set in. The term was coined by psychologist Leon Festinger as a result of experiments that he conducted in the 1950s. A simplified definition of cognitive dissonance is the psychological tension that one experiences when one feels compelled to hold two contradictory and mutually exclusive ideas to be simultaneously true. Festinger applied the concept to the reaction of cult members when their leader's prophecy of the arrival of a spacecraft failed. The spacecraft was supposed to contain some good extraterrestrials who would take these faithful to safety while God proceeded to destroy the planet Earth. After no such beings arrived, the leader, leader, Marion Keach, did the typical backpedaling. She conveniently received a message from God declaring that God said he would spare the world because these folks were so good and faithful. What Festinger found is that some of the cult members left the group. Some stayed. Those who stayed became even more devoted to their leader and more fervent in their belief that she was the shit. They proceeded to go out and recruit as many new members as they could. Why? Because they needed to hold on to this erroneous belief that the more people they could get to believe with them, the more justified they felt in clinging to it. For any creationists who may be watching this video, erroneous means wrong. Anyway, the tortured logic is as such. 1. The leader is always right because she is speaking the word of God. 2. The leader was proven to be wrong. Therefore, three, the leader is extra super right. Go recruit more members. Now we're going to jump back to Harry. After September 6, 1994, Harry said that he made some mistakes in his mathematical equations. The fact that Harry turned out to be a lying sack of shit back when he made his 1994 prediction is a minor little detail that can be easily overlooked as far as his current flock of sheep are concerned. So what is going to happen with these true believers on May 22nd? Well, unlike some assholes I can name, I do not claim to have supernatural powers that enable me to predict the future. I can, however, engage in some speculation based on the information that is presently available. First of all, let's examine what Camping is saying. May 21st is not the absolute end of the world. That is the date that the rapture is going to occur. Jesus is going to return to earth so all the faithful believers can be sucked into the sky and taken to heaven where they will be experiencing some sort of grand cosmic eternal orgasm while worshiping the boundless being forever and ever. The actual end of the world will be October 21st. So it will take the almighty thingamajig five months to destroy the earth. Yeah, that very same motherfucker who created the entire universe in only six days. These folks tend to be a bit lacking in the logic department. So here are a few outs that they can use. Remember, this is religion. Does not have to follow rules of logic, does not have to be consistent with evidence, does not have to be scientifically verifiable, etc. In religion there is only one rule. The religion is always right. That's it. Let's take a look at Alison Warden. She is a true believer in Harry's prediction. 
Her car is covered with information warning the public about May 21st. She was quoted in the Daily Christian News as saying, If May 21 passes and I'm still here, that means I wasn't saved. Does that mean God's word is inaccurate or untrue? Not at all. We're hoping that people will search the scriptures for themselves. Here's the out. Harry was right. The rapture did occur on May 21st. Sort of. Harry, Allison, and everyone else who is still here just did not meet the requirements that it takes to be raptured. So, God looked around the world, and he said, Well, shit in my hat. I looked all over this world, and I could not find one single motherfucker who was Christian enough to be taken up here to heaven with me. Not one of you filthy sons of bitches is worthy. So we're going to postpone this rapture until we can see some real Christians around here. Not you phony wannabe posers who think you are Christians. So then it's Operation Fundy Fanaticism. Now our faith has to be really extra super duper heavy duty steel reinforced. I hope you can see just how dangerous this stuff can be. I'm not saying that these folks are going to go Kool-Aid on us. That sort of thing is extremely rare. But take into consideration the level of exposure that Harry's bullshit is getting all over the world. Religious fanaticism is very appealing to people who are mentally unstable for a few reasons. One is that it masks their mental illness. It gives them a smoke screen, something to hide behind. Two, it helps them to rationalize their delusional thinking. Three, it can be used to normalize bizarre behavior. Some people have pointed out that this could lead to anxiety attacks, complete mental breakdowns, possibly suicides. And if these things do happen, who is going to take responsibility for it? Nobody. That's another aspect of religious fanaticism. Nobody is ever held accountable for anything. I hope you can see why I have absolutely zero respect for people like Harry and Allison. They don't deserve any. Finally, I'm sure that if any May 21 believer who failed to notice my YouTube handle started watching this video, they stopped watching it after about 18 seconds. When somebody wants to believe something that stupid, they have to be careful to limit themselves to information that reinforces that belief as much as possible. But on the remote chance, dear true believers in Harold Camping, Harry is a fucking liar. Quit his stupid cult right now and get on with your life. The rapture is not going to happen in May or any other time. There is no rapture. It's made up. Take an honest look at your motives for wanting this thing to be true. You would magically be taken to some eternal paradise while the rest of the people are left to suffer on a doomed planet because you are chosen as some kind of special person. Can you see how childish and selfish that is? I would think that anyone who has such a desire to be magically pulled out of the world like that is no different than one who is suicidal and has the desire to kill themselves. Is that it? Is your life so desperate and fucked up that you can't bear to go on? Is the glee you feel when imagining the rapture based on the desire to escape? Or is it based on hate? Does the idea of seeing the planet and all its inhabitants brutally demolished give you such pleasure because you're just an asshole? Okay, I know, that was spitting in the ocean. The rest of you, happy Godless 2011.